Hello, Long Riders. Welcome back. Do you want to tie, learn how to tie one serious killer scud pattern? I'm going to show you two, talk about two versions in this. So let's get to the vice. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. That's right, we're going to talk about the Killer Killer Scud. Great pattern to have for this winter. And we're going to teach you two versions of this. I'll talk about two versions of this. And I suggest you tie these up because they are must have in your box. So don't forget to list the materials in the comments below. And right under that, you can find affiliate links where we get money that helps our channel. And when you comment, it helps our channel big time. And when you push the like, it also helps our channel big time. So let's do all that. Use the fear links to buy the materials. If you're going to use the online shopping, you might as well help our channel out. Our channel. Yours, mine, everybody. So let's get to the vice and learn how to tie this scud. We're going to start by debarbing the hook like we always do. It makes the, fit, the fly easier to take out of the fish's mouth for catch and release. Next, we're gonna take 70 white denier, 70 or excuse me, white thread, 70 denier thread, and run it back to the bend in the hook. Now in our ice dubbing mix, there is a white. It's called Minnow Bello, as you can see here. But it's basically just a white ice dubbing. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll that up into a noodle. Now, if you haven't seen us do this yet, you can look back on old videos. But what we're going to do is roll it up in a really teeny noodle. Take your dubbing, put it in your finger and go like this until it turns into a noodle. And then we're going to tie that in first. Now you want to secure that down and then you want to bring the thread back to that same spot right behind that material you just tied in. Now, we're using 2X. I think I would have rather used 4X. It would have been a little smaller. But I had it laying here on the bench. But I think I would have straight it back. I probably would use 4X. But you're going to use your 4X or 5X tippet material that you have on your tippet spool, like so. And you're going to tie that in. Now in this little section, I wanted to show you that this material I show you here, I found, uh, got out of a Christmas gift that was sent to me. And it's clear and it's flashy. It's almost like the stuff you find on the spool that's an eighth inch or a quarter inch wide. It comes already on a spool, pre-cut. I just cut it at an eighth of an inch. And this is to show you how you can use stuff you find in your house. If you see something you think might work on a fly, keep it. Put it in your box, time box. I have a whole sheet of this stuff. I can make many, many flies out of stuff, and it just came to me free and a gift. 
So pay attention to that stuff you have around the house. You might be able to tie some killer flies with it. Whatever material you decide to go with, you want to make sure that it ends up on the top of the hook when you tie it in. You're going to wrap this up over. Now I'm going to take some more of that white ice dubbing. And when we put this dubbing on, we are going to do it really big and loose so that you just go a couple wraps around. And it's you don't want to make it thin, so you have to take a lot of wraps. You want to make it real loose because we're going to pick this out to represent legs. So you want it to make it real loose noodle and only, you know, real little so that when you wrap it, it only takes a couple wraps, as you'll see in the, as I do it. Next, you're going to take that material that you tied on top of the hook, pull it over, and then tie it, secure it right down by the eyelet. Now, you'll notice when I cut this off, I leave a little teeny piece on here, about an eighth of an inch, hang out over the eye of the hook. Then you can pull that material back, put a couple thread wraps in front of it to hold it back. You know, so it'll stand up kind of like this, not dang down over the eyelet. You're still going to get to the eyelet, tie it on, and it'll be up above the eyelet. Now you can take that 4X tippet material, go the opposite direction you wrap the dubbing on to make it so it's a solid fly, it's a sturdy fly. Take a beating. Then you're gonna wrap that around and rib this fly, kind of like you would on a pheasant tail. You're gonna rib it up to right where that you cut that off. You're gonna lay it. You're gonna wrap it around, and when you get to the eyelet, you're gonna put it in front of that piece that you have sticking up and tie it off right there. Now, now what you're going to do is you're going to whip finish this twice and I don't put head cement on it. You can put head cement on it. Now I like to spin my fly upside down and what you can do is take a dubbing needle my scissors have a really fine point on them and you're going to start plucking out that dubbing to represent the legs of the scud. Pick it out pretty good. You want a lot of material hanging down. Now you're going to cut off the tail of this thing. You're going to uh, do it, cut the tail at the length of two eyelets. Well, you can, uh, yeah, two eyelets, I'd say, or three. Depends how big your eye. If your size is 22, I'd do three. Now let's take a closer look at this killer scud pattern. Hey, 
welcome to the end of the video. I'm glad you stayed till the end of the video. Some uh, advice on this is I recommend you tie this from size 18 to 22 in this color and use olive flash. Everything the same except for the dubbing you change to olive. And these are killer patterns. And like I said, you can see the recipe for this fly in the description below and places where you can buy the materials to tie these flies in the description below. And when you use these links to buy your materials, we get some cash and it makes our channel better for you and for us. And we could, you know, one thing we can do with this money that we do offer with this money is more giveaways. So if you like giveaways, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and comment to make our channel better and use these links so we can give you more giveaways and more stuff to show you more things, you know. We can't, like one thing, for example, was I used to do uh, post fly box, but I was pying out my money and it was getting old. I just, you know, they weren't working with me at all, so I stopped doing them. But if I would have had, you know, money coming in from links or something, I may have kept doing them, but I just didn't want to keep taking, you know, that money out of my pocket every month to bring you that post fly box. So, all this, using all this stuff to help us, thumbs up, subscribe, make sure if you didn't subscribe, you're going to do subscribe right there. So, thank you for watching our videos, and I want to give you guys a deep heart appreciation for you guys starting to use the links, and I think we made five bucks so far, which is a start. At least you're using the links, and I see you guys are going and clicking, and checking out the links. There's a whole bunch of them below, Bass Pro Shops, which you can use them. And thank you for always for watching our videos. We tie these up. These are killer flies, and they're working right now in the cold weather. These scuds are going to be important, along with all the other ones we tied in this series. And you can see the rest of the flies we tied in this series right here. Here's a video just for you right there. And you can subscribe if you haven't yet. Make sure you do. Because uh, there's a lot of things going on at YouTube where we need many subscribers to keep up on things, to keep money rolling in. So click that there, and subscribe. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and I'll give them fish a sore lip.